Glacier. How do they make it so cold in here when Glacier comes out? I mean, freezing. Next thing, we're going to see snow drop out of the ceiling. Oh, come on. Governor today. Glacier. And after what we saw Thursday night on Thunder, if this man could have any worse attitude than he had the last time we saw it, it's worse. He wants to align himself with the cat, claiming that as martial arts proponent, he and the cat are being discriminated against here at World Championship Wrestling. Well, they do have a history together. Former tag team partners, they've also been rivals, but the cat's answer to Glacier was a resounding no. The cat claims that he's going to go it on his own, well, maybe with a little help from Sonny Ono. A little help? A lot of help? Sonny Ono now claiming that he is the world's greatest Japanese wrestler and is undefeated. If that's not the most ridiculous thing you've ever heard. Yeah, all because of that so-called hated victory last Saturday night right here on the Superstation against Kaz Hayashi with help from an interfering cat as Ernest Miller came out and laid out Hayashi, allowing Sonny Ono to gain a pin. Can you believe that? Glacier stands in mid-ring. Lenny Lane is sort of putting on a jacket, I hope. You talk about multiple sports stars, Glacier has excelled in professional wrestling, has excelled in martial arts, has excelled in football. Believe it or not, Glacier, at one time, a very, very well-respected collegiate football player. Now, what on earth is Lenny Lane doing? Is he okay? He's just mocking Glacier with the martial arts stance. Now, Lenny Lane. Lenny Lane. Oh! Boy, did Glacier put the boot right in the jaw of Lenny Lane. Shoots Lenny across. Japanese arm drag by Glacier. Takes Lenny Lane over. Knife edge chop. Lenny may have done his last karate kid impersonation. High backdrop. And they remain unconfirmed at this point that Glacier is sidelined for several months with a knee injury. I tried to talk to him before our broadcast here on Saturday night, and he would have nothing to do with me. Wouldn't confirm that. What about that knee brace? It looks to me like he may be coming off of a knee injury. He's not wearing that knee brace for looks. No doubt about it. Oh, Lenny Lane drapes Glacier across that top steel cable. That stuns the big man. Lane charges in, misses the clothesline. Throws the leg, roll up, roll through into a cradle by Lenny Lane, and he got the two count on Glacier. Well, the last time we saw Glacier, he was doing everything to try and integrate more pro wrestling moves into his offensive attack. Lenny Lane shoots him across, charges in, and Lane went fish off first into that top turnbuckle. Now, that time it was the quickness of Glacier that allowed him to get out of the way. You would think that in this matchup that Lenny Lane would rely on his speed and his quickness and agility. That time, Glacier able to get out of the way, and then he mounts an offensive attack in the corner. Rights and lefts and back elbows, oh my, from Glacier on Lenny Lane. Lenny just like a rag doll in there as Glacier. Glacier in tremendous condition. Glacier's got to be up there around 6'3", six, 6'4". Six, just in wonderful condition. Great stamina. Cardiovascular development on Glacier. Takes a back seat to no one. Now Glacier sets him up. Snap suplex by Glacier. Cover. Doesn't hook the leg. He got the two count on Lenny. Handful of hair. Brings it back down. Hooks the leg. And still got the two. Well, that's one of the reasons why I question Glacier. Because it looks like there's absolutely no ring rush. I mean, this guy was sidelined for several months. No! Whether it was a knee injury, he really wouldn't say. He even is, there's even some reports that he's wearing that knee brace in an effort to distract his opponent. High cross body by Lenny Lane. Two pound on Glacier. Oh, but Glacier, what power. With the clothesline, right under the chin. Another example of relying more on pro wrestling moves. The Lariat takes Lenny Lane down to the canvas. I wonder if Glacier... If he did suffer that knee injury, if the cryonic kick is still the potent finishing maneuver that he wants to employ in this contest with Lenny Lane. Bulldog from the ropes by Lenny Lane. Glacier may not get the shot. Lenny, slow to recover. What in the world? 
knee pad down. Not again. We've seen this before, haven't we? Well, it wasn't the knee this time, but I'm still not going to talk about it. Lenny Lane, now following up on Glacier, shoots him into the ropes. Lenny, ooh, caught the kick in the chest and the knife edge chop from Glacier. Backs him into the corner. Glacier with the forearm on Lenny Lane. Reversal by Lane. Reversal by Glacier. Into the top turnbuckle, face first. Oh, and there a it is. kick. Better than ever. What extension. What force. What power from Glacier. And isn't this strange? He doesn't go for the pin after the cryonic kick. Oh, he's going to dish out more pain and more punishment to Lenny Lane. That's a variation, a version of the Cobra, the sleeper applied. And Lenny Lane drifting off into dreamland. This may do it. Lenny's out, and Glacier wins it on Saturday night. Boy, is he back better than ever. And Glacier is back with a vengeance. He was turned down by the cat this past Thursday on Thunder. Both of the men relying on their martial arts attack. Glacier thought it would be the perfect team, a chance to reunite with the cat. The cat claims that he's going to go it on his own, but Glacier returns to WCW with a bang. Glacier scores the win over Lenny Lane on Saturday night. Mean Gene Oakland is standing by backstage with another man who was a proponent of that standing sidekick and the Death Valley driver. Let's go to Gene and Saturday.